Here he is, the master. Get up here. He's getting these treats. Now don't be jumping on me. He's terrorizing, scratching on the door, wanting out. Wanting me to play with him, I've been mowing. But I'm going to a dump, it's noon, I got a late start on it. But I'm gonna get, try to find something, the water's still up in the river. Um, there he goes on his pair. But anyway, there's my pet squirrel. He's a fixture on the channel. People love him. He likes that pair. I just got him two pairs at the grocery store and he loves them. But I'll get back on my first find in the dump. Later, face. I'm in the dump. I'm down to a layer. There's milks and stuff in it. And that's what I'm hoping for on this dump. Old bottles are few and far between here, but there's a bunch of stuff down in here. Um, there's something big right there. That's just a food container. But there's lots of whole bottles. There's mason jars. I found one huge 1858 mason here. No crocs on this dump, but lots of marbles. Um, <coughs> I need to get down in here deep and hit the base layer. I'm just gonna take my time and try to get a nice video for you people that are all stuck inside. I hope you enjoyed the clip of my buddy Squirrel Man at the beginning. I'll try to put him on as much as possible. He's a good boy. He'll be happy to see me when I get home, but I'll get back on my first cool find. I'm gonna clean this hole out. I just started this one later. I raked out my first marble of the day and I got this like, it might be copper, it's heavy metal, it's some kind of buckle. Put that up here, but I got a marble here. Let me get it wiped off, it looks nice. It's one of them clear base ones with the windows, like that little darker strip there, you can see all the way clear into the marble to the other side. They're completely clear on the inside and that color is veneered on the outside of the marble. I'm back on the marbles, I'm satisfied finding these. Right here's another one. This looks pretty nice. Yeah, it's an alley agate. Let me get it cleaned off. It's a alley swirl. Made from 1929 to 1949. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I'm happy to get that one. Look at that. Look at that pattern. Beautiful. Very beautiful. Well, anyway, I'm on the board with two marbles already. If I can get six or seven, that's adding to the frame. I'll show you the frame I'm working on at the end. It's over like the past month. Um, I got a couple in my pocket too, so later. Yeah, I'm gonna have a cave in. There's a marble right there. Oh, it's another beautiful one. Let me get it cleaned off. That's another alley agate. Man, that's nice. Uh, keep in mind that I gotta keep my screen clean, but man, that's a beautiful one. I love these electric blue ones like cobalt blue. Look at that pattern. That's a beauty. Real nice condition, too. Later. Cork top, look at that. There's no embossing on it, that's a shame. It has 100 on the bottom, that's older. Later. You see, it? there's a lot of marbles in here, but right over in there, I found a whole bunch one day. And man, this looks like a day maker. Do you see it? It's right here. This looks awful good. Oh man, folks, this is a smoking stein. Look at that. Oh man, let me get this cleaned off. That's a just absolute beautiful marble. Later. Well, real nice condition. Cobalt blue, this clear base, and you can see those white swirls even into the marble. It's just awesome. That's a day maker for that frame I'm working on. I will show you the frame at the end and whatever else I find here. I think these are shoe polish. I find them all day long. I don't even take them. There's probably a lot of stuff in these dumps that people see me leave that they wish I, they could have, but 
you know, I'd send it all to you if shipping was free. That ain't the case, and I've got, you should see, I've got probably 50 boxes, like, the size of that in my garage right now, just rounded over with bottles. It's just, I had to clean up the floor. I got a new garage door put in, and uh, I got bottles everywhere. I'm gonna have to figure something out. I'll give some of them away though this month in a giveaway, so watch for that here in a week or so. I gotta keep the videos coming and I'm gonna be doing a lot of sifting for arrowheads. See, there's another blue bottle. I got that cork top one there. There's a crappy ACL, a doorknob. I'm finding stuff. Hopefully I can find a nice old bottle later. Yeah, that's kind of a cool bottle. It's probably some kind of little perfume or something. Would it looks like it would have had a sticker on it there, but it's got the original cap. We'll take it. I like them little bottles regardless of how old they are, but that has to be at least 1950s in age or 40s. Anyway, I'll get back to you. I'm looking back in here. You can see I started this hole at the beginning and I'm back in this far. I'm just going real slow because there's marbles in here. Later. Every one of these guns you find, and look, that's got a big old, that's an old, it says cowboy right there. But most of them are just destroyed with corrosion. Every once in a while you get one that's hung up in a rust layer that drains good and it looks brand new. But not very often. One out of like 50 of them. I find one of them about every time I'm here. That's a shame. Later. Oh, look, that bottle's purple. Like lavender and it's blown. Oh, that's a shame. It's blown for sure. I'm down on the bottom of the dump. I hit the base clay there. This dump isn't that deep. But the oldest bottles that if I ever get into a pocket of them are right on the base clay. Hopefully I can today. There's an embossed bottle. Bare aspirin glass. I need to get these rocks out of here, but I got another marble. It's just a little turquoise one, but it's nice. It'll look nice in that frame. And like I said, I'll show it at the end. What I've got so far here in like the past 30 days. Later. Taking that, man, that's one of the most coolest doorknobs I've ever seen. It's all clear glass and then it's got like a flower design on the inside. That's very cool. Look at it. I'll put that like in the middle of a marble case. That'll look awesome. I'll saw that off. That'll look great in a marble case right in the middle with marbles all around it. We're good on the marbles today. Do you see it? Right here. Oh man, look at that. Oh, look, you can see it's that. Oh, let me get this cleaned off. Wait up. Oh, man, that's sick, ain't it? And you turn it over and it's just, oh man, look at that. It almost glows. That's awesome. That's worth the whole, look at that. Holy mackerel. That's, look at that pattern. That's beautiful. Doing good, folks. You got a video with this stuff. I know a lot of you love these marbles. I like the marbles a hundred times better than any bottle. Um, even that one I just found on the river from Berlin. I like a frame of marbles way better than even bottles like that. Man, that's nice. Lay that a jar of them or something here. Real dark layer. Look, do you see it? I just found that one and walked up here and took one rake and there's another marble. Right here. Oh, it's one of the, oh, look at that. Man, I'm on the marbles again. Let me get this cleaned off. That's another beauty. It's different. Look at that. Probably the same manufacturer, but different. All right, here it is cleaned off. It's kind of got a baby blue tint to it, look. And it just almost looks like something under a magnifying glass blurring. And then you turn it over and it's got that patch. That's just beautiful. It looks like a W, kind of. Man, I'm going to take my time in here. Finally, you can see I started the hole right here and I've only got it back in that far. Um, I don't know, I've been here probably pushing an hour and a half. Later, get this layer of bottles in here and here's a big, there's a big blue bottle. I've been finding blue bottles pretty consistently. But I'll do a little bit of live raking here for you. I got a big rock back here behind me. Oh, I needed to get was hitting my leg, funny. The marbles pop almost immediately. I rake back through this stuff again. Back here once I get it in a pile and I very rarely see marbles again every once in a while. 
if I can get it to this kind of a layer where it's real rusty looking like this I mean that yeah, that's nothing that's some kind of a sauce bottle it's kind of unique looking though but I'm not taking that got too much stuff like that the way it is There's a bunch of bottles in here, that's for sure. Stinking roots. Be nice if you was just popping marbles out every two seconds. See, there's a milk. Broken milk, that stinks. There's an old rubber wheel off of a car. That's an old one. There's a whiskey flask. Would have had a paper label right there. It's kind of cool, but can't take it. I thought that was a marble, but that's a broken look. I get fooled all the time. There's a crown top. Let's see what this is. Oh man, that's pretty nice. Oh, and it's even embossed, look. Barks. And it's, that'll clean up. Barks, it's good, and it's an all embossed up bottle. It's all embossed. It'll say Bolero High on the bottom. We'll take that. That ain't bad. Um, I'm live rake out. There's a little weird thing with the handle on it. I uh, don't know what that is. See, there's a green crown top. It's hard to tell what that was. I'm in these marbles. I'm hoping for some of them metal cowboys and Indians and stuff that are like made out of lead. Can't remember what them things are called. They, a lot of them were made in England, I think. I can't think of it right now. Maybe that might be a marble. It is. Live find. There's another one. Oh, it's a beauty. Let me turn this off and clean it off. Look at it. Told you. There's a good many of them in here. I'm going to have to take my time. Later. Look how awesome that is. Bubbles all in it. Look at it just glowing. I'm out of the sun, too, back in the hole in the shade. And then you got that milky pattern on it man that's nice it's got a little dirt on it still but man that's nice all of them specks are dirt there's no damage to it it's like it's brand new look at that well anyway i'll get back on my next one later i just reeked out another really nice marble i'm getting this hole prepared pretty good there's bottles sticking all out but man i'm after the marbles and that's what i'm finding oh it looks great Let's just wipe it off here like this. Eh, it's got a little bit of a melt to it. See it? That's not a good one. I'll put it in my pocket, but it's melted. Look at this. This is coming. See it all moving? Uh, yeah, there goes that hole. I ain't digging it out. I just found the milk here, but it's slick, unfortunately. Oh, man. I might be able to get it that way right in there. This is dangerous. You gotta, you know, that falls on you. Even that back in that hole, you're a duster. Even three foot down, that's heavy, wet dirt right there. Um, I'll get back. I'm gonna probably surface hunt this. And look around i got a nice pocket full of marbles and a few you know i got some bottles i didn't film this stuff because i knew that was going to go um i got a dr ellis quick dry wave set but i have like a hundred of these it says pittsburgh got an atlas mason it's perfect that art deco 
there's something that takes a mason cap, but some blue bottles. Here's another gun. Here's another gun. Found multiples around and them marbles are all reached though. You know, I found, I think, four guns today, but they're all just destroyed. But I'll get back if I find anything else. It might be a few minutes later. All right, since my hole caved in, I'm just walking around surface hunting. And there's a nice Hires Reap Beer, all the ACL is just perfect. The Hires Bottling Company, Toledo, Ohio. We'll probably take that later. So here's some of the stuff I got. I got eight nice marbles and that one melted one, but all the eight are nice. And I will show you the frame that I'm working on at the end of the video. You can go back and watch. I have t a huge marble collection from just digging on dumps in the last two years. But I found another blue royal crown with a 1936 date on it and all these blue bottles and stuff. I always take the blue ones and just put them in box lots. The nicest bottle was probably this cork top blue and with 100 on it. It's got nice iridescence. That's a pretty nice looking bottle. Um, but nothing much. The marbles are what I'm after though. The bottles, I have to find something really spectacular to get excited. But uh, I'll get back at you when I get home later. My surface hunting stuff going out of here. And I just found this, that's metal. It's like brass. I thought it was a military button, but that's a flower. And it's a button. That'll be a nice button. It's probably marked back here on the back. I'll clean that up and put it in one of my button frames. That's a nice button. You don't really find metal ones like that, and it's old for sure. Um, if I see anything else, you know I always say I'm leaving and then I find something else, but there's so much stuff to look. Right in here's where I found that metal Indian, that lead Indian. You know, I could dig up through here all around these tree roots but i'll see i'm pretty tired i want to air ahead hunt tomorrow so i'll probably be going i'm gonna look down through here and that'll be it but that's a cool fun it's a flower it's like a rose you can see it there and right there's the shank it's all there later see it i got another fine service hunting there's a penny um I'd say it's a wheat scent. Let me get it wiped off real quick and we'll see later. All right, this is 1954D. It's nice shape, it just needs cleaned up. That's the front, and then that's the back with one scent. I'll put it in my pocket. You know, nothing that I really care for. But that's kind of a cool federal law whiskey. That might look nice with the label on it and the cap. It's brown, I might take that. But this will probably be it now, sorry. Later. I'm gonna have to take this too. I found this laying out after the rain. And all of that, that ACL is perfect. And it's New York, New York. And the, you know, this is embossed up on the neck and look at all the Pepsi stuff's there. And it's the, it's like the dot in between. That's pretty cool. It's a nice condition. We'll have to take it. Um, this will be it now. I'm just going to walk out of here. I couldn't stop finding stuff to take or I'm going to have so many bottles I'm not going to be able to store them all. Look here. That's a pretty good find. It's like a button box skull with both antlers on it. We're taking that. Huh. Probably got hit. There's a road above me. I was, I'm looking these hillsides here looking for dumps i always walk after i uh leave a dump and drive someplace and walk some roadside see if i can't lock onto a new place to dig um but i'm not seeing much but i did get another fun i can make knife handles out of them or whatever that's pretty cool um i'll get back to you if i see anything else i could find a nice shed See, this is all awesome in here. It's all cleared off. I can see there's a big creek below me. I could walk up onto an Indian site or anything doing this. See, there's trash and stuff thrown over these hills. You can see it over in there. But look at how pretty this is. 
looking all out of creek see there's trash all over there um there's a rock face in here but i'm not seeing much i might just get up out of here here it's really steep in here i might just go up right here since it's cleared off but thanks for watching pigs i'll show you the marbles when i get home cleaned up in the frame with the last like months worth later see out in here that creek running up this valley this flows directly into the higher river um there's indian sites all out here in the woods but it's tough digging in the woods that's why with the river and the water wanted to show you that that's a pretty view i'm way up on top of this hill later right, i told you i'd show you the marbles here's what i've been working on in, like the past month um there's some good ones in there there's that real pretty green one look at that copper colored one there there's some nice ones a few of them have clay wear there's one up there it's got a crack in it i didn't notice that one's not good i'm gonna have to take it out but most of them are real nice condition that green one i found today's real nice there's some good ones in there we'll get this one filled up i'll take that cracked one out but um this is what I do on the dumps. Try to find these marbles and fill frames like this. These are called Riker mounts. R-I-K-E-R-M-O-U-N-T or Riker case. You can buy them on eBay. A lot of people ask. That's why I said that. But I'll get back on my next one. I'll probably airhead hunt tomorrow. All day. Later.